welcome back to Jiro3 YouTube channel. Uh, in today's video we're looking at a new project that I'm working on. Uh, this is a, going to be a upgraded controller for a up and coming project that I'm working on uh, which will be a uh, Kempro uh, 450 or 650 uh, rotator and this is going to be the controller that's going to be controlling it. So I just thought I'd do a, bit of a quick run through with this. Um, main thing I've done with this thing is I've pulled holding apart we had the PCBs in this were, were fried um, so basically I'm replacing it with the PCB with one of my PCBs this is my um, as you can see here it's a DS-7R it's a uh, remote control uh, PCB that I've um, had made up and it has um, LED out outputs um, remote out inputs and stuff like that so, and this is the AC version, this is the earlier version which I've just made into the AC only, there's another version for the DC. So basically we're going to be replacing the two boards with just one board, because uh, this is all double sided, the other one was not if I remember correctly, but yeah they were all um, pretty well stuffed the other ones. So basically I'm going to take you for a bit of a quick run through of what's, what's what and then we'll um, start the uh, the process. So, well there was what I've got a hold of is some brand new let me get this out of here got a hold of a brand new um, um, bezel and clear cover for this so because the one with this one was had big scratches on it and actually this uh, bezel was cracked so that's a brand new one and at the same time uh, I've got a hold of some brand new um, displays so this is a brand new display this is for this is a displays for the actual 450 650 and when I got that I got a hold of the brand new backing for it as well so this is a new backing for this display so that will be in front of this I'll be going there so it's got that blue this one these are the later versions they normally were painted when now they're actually a sticker they come in two parts so I had to put the sticker on so that these are this nice sticker this is a similar process they do to the later model um, these are these are Yaesu by the way so I'm just upgrading a Kempro with some uh, Yaesu parts I can get a hold of and these are the bits and pieces to hold the lens and everything on I'll be using the original um, uh, needle for uh, the early Kempros instead of the, the, the brown looking one I like this one a bit better um, so there's a few other things that I've done um, well what I'm going to do uh, for the um, well, uh, the transformer will be using the original transformer because these transformers were zero the center tap was 17.5 they used to use that for the DC uh, and then we had 24 and 27 volts out and we have the 13 and, and th 13 center tap 13 volt uh, 13 0 13 and a 10 volt tapping on this one and we have the uh, the this is the wall transformer so 0 100 100 uh, 120 and and 230 so that's the tr main transformer and I'll, as you can see I have put um, uh, clinch or cinch clinch nuts in here so the original one only has one bolt in the middle and they would actually flex and bend and the bracket would actually bend like anything you know like a banana so I put two in each side so let's get that out of the road and I had to put a different transformer in this one needs uh, three voltages and I couldn't use the center tapping so I had to put a little another little transformer in again it's got the clinch nuts in as well so M4 clinch nuts the other thing I did was the original one of these uh, the chassis all oh, flare out um, was painted and it was all crap so I had it um, chemically cleaned and then we've had it um, re-zinc plated so basically it's been zinc plated including the little cover plate here as well uh, that was in play as well so I've been gradually putting this together a new um, cinch socket in here the uh, the remote socket will be going in there the remote socket is here this little remote socket so I'll just plug into there um, has an earth bolt IEC socket I'm, I'm waiting on my IC sockets to come in um, all my wiring is plug and play so basically these are all the IDC plugs that I'm using on this so basically you can pull a PC board out uh, and there's no major wiring um, on it where the, these original ones here they just had wires going everywhere and they'd break and everything else so yeah 
So the, the direction switches, I uh, don't have any load on anymore because that's controlling the two relays basically in a roundabout way. So I've actually made these into a flying lead as well. So they just plug into the, um, wherever it is, that plugs into this blue connector here and it's all colour coded. So basically that plugs into the blue connector. So you can actually physically take the front panel up and work on it. I prefer better work on things. The original one was a pain to work on because the wires were just everywhere. Um, and you'd break them. So I'll put that back in there. Oh, I think I mentioned everything there. Put those all back over there again. Get them out of the road. 9080. So I've got um, this one had a later model a later model switch uh, power switch in it. So I'm going to be using that one. So I'll be putting in a potentiometer which I'm waiting for. Um, it's will be going up in the top corner here. That's where the original one sits, but that's normally held by a PC board. So I'm actually putting this little bracket in, and that'll be sitting in here like that. No, that way around. Not that way around, I should say. So that will be going into there when I get the, the potentiometer. So you need a, um, a 100, 100 um, ohm potentiometer. I've also um, just finished um, calibrating and uh, aligning the um, the pot gear and everything else. And this is this one here is for the limit um, assembly. Um, and basically, the limit assembly is activated when it gets to this side. This is the end of the, the, the well, the, the south side and that is south on the via east side so this is um yeah um so yeah basically that's all done i've replaced the belt um put a new e-clip on everything's been aligned here and it's all good so basically had to do a few minor changes around here so i might just stick that there for the present moment the pc board uh, is held in by normally my pc board sits this way and the other controllers which these ones are designed for but in this one, I'm running them horizontally, and it'll be sitting across the back, like that across the back here. And you'll see more of that in, in later videos, or in this video later on. So I had to do a bit of grinding away to get around, um, uh, like, the, the coils uh, and other bits and pieces here. So basically, so that's when you support. So these are the ones that I had made. These are actually 3D printed in a, um, a, a laser center 3D printer. So this is not melt, melted 3D you know, plastic. This is actually a powder which is then formed by a laser into the into the structure. So a bit stronger and, and higher temperature rating. Plus I was, hang on a second, I'm... We're back, sorry about that. Someone was at the door. And um, in the meantime, um, my parts have come in. So the potentiometer has come in, which I've just mounted up to the L bracket. So that's 100, 100 ohm pot, as well as my IEC socket, which I've done my little mods to this, shortened the post down, and I've covered up the uh, the, the live pin here. So that's all happening. Um, so we got cut off. Now where were we? That's, um, so the bits and pieces uh, that we'll be using, um, I'll be using the original little... Um, arm that actually um, makes it into lock mode so this is actually when it goes together it goes in the back of here and it actually pivots off this bit here I'll try and show you that I'll get the fingers working that goes in there like that sits in that groove and it lines up of course and that then makes it Momentary or or lock, so it goes past and then makes it in a lock mode. You can see what I'm doing. So or it becomes momentary. So yeah, there you go. So that's that's that'll be going back in anyway. So it's just such so as it was before. And a few more things. Since the board is sitting across the back of it, I had to take a little piece out of this to get the board to go past. The other one is okay. I've got nuts and bolts and screws and bits and pieces there, and I've also got um, a little made up a little right angle um, clear um, Lexan cover. That's going to go down the side. Since the transformer, the AC side, this AC side will be facing out. This will be going like that, uh, and the hole is where the mounting screw comes through on the one over there. So this will be sitting up hard against there. So it'll be wide first, and then this will be stuck in later. Um, just to keep prying hands off this, even though I'll be covering these up, just means that we don't have that many up against the, the chassis. If someone pushes the chassis, the, the top housing across, so that's what that's for. 
so we are moving forward and I think uh, that is probably oh, the, the casing itself I've cleaned the casing up it has a few itty bitty little scratches on it but otherwise this one's in pretty good nick so basically it, it is the later version one which has that slight rough um, um, surface on it but the early versions were sometimes they were smooth on the top and rough on the side or rough on the side and smooth on the top or even earlier than that they were smooth all over so a bit like that there so basically we um oh, we've got a sign fell down so and i've got the rubber feet sitting here whoops that all fell down so the rubber feet and all the screws for the housing and all this stuff so and the since i'm running two transformers uh, i'll be wiring in a terminal block for the ac side so i can actually not have any not have the transformers physically soldered in on the ac side so they can be removed if necessary so it's all about trying to work on these things um, if need be um, so yeah you, you know the other one you couldn't even lay the front panel down without you know taking wires and stuff off well now I can just unplug and lay down and take the whole front end off if I really needed to so okay we shall start the um, building process and I shall be back okay we're back Alrighty, Addy. Um I have now um, wired all the back of the uh, control panel or front panel and I've also installed one of my wireless DCs into here as well um, and that's been wired in as well as I've got the overlap light wired in as well as the switch to activate the overlap the um, I put the plug and uh, the, the terminated um, direction switches in and so now when you press the button it's like you can hear it go very light you can just touch it and it just and then if you want to press harder it goes into lock mode I've also put the uh, needle in and the front panels on you can see the overlap light sitting in there so that's all done all the wiring is done in that part just got to uh, move forward stay there I've also wired the power side of the this is the the power side this red socket is for the power coming into the PC board so that's all been wired onto the actual transformer I've actually wired the AC side on and they'll be going to the terminal block onto that when I get to that move that back over there I've also uh, installed um, the right hand uh, PC board um, support. I've terminated the IC socket. Um, I've terminated the pot. As you can see the pot's now installed. Uh, the actual output socket is wired. And I've installed the actual um, the remote socket. So basically, um, we're getting forward. These will be wired up to the um, PC board, and so all that. And um, yes, we are gradually getting there. So a little flaring out again. So basically, we're getting there. Righty, Addy. And um, I've actually. Um, got the other side I had to make a new set of that because I've got these were the AC board and the ones I had sitting here before were actually for the DC board slightly different shapes so I had to make some new ones up so there we go so that's the new ones and I've actually even painted the bottom silver on this so that's just when it comes pokes through from the bottom of the actual um, uh, the board because it actually they sit through as you can see here the screws are there and they poke through the original design was on the imitators and they uh, have a, a raised section so you never actually saw that um, that's how it goes um, well yeah I think we can now move forward and I'll start um, putting transformers on and PC board in and and get it all ready to move into the next section so we shall catch you soon okay Doke. I just thought I'd show you this uh, the PC board installed with all the other stuff in, in, inside there, all the transformers and everything, uh, you won't see this, uh, or part of it anyway. So, but there we go. Um, the posts are in, mounted up. 
Oh, the screw, oh, flared out again. So there's all our bits and pieces. This wiring comes over. This will be going to the output terminals there. And uh, we have the uh, power for the neutral here. Being this is an AC rotator that's going to be used on. And we have the, uh, the, the socket for the plug. And we have the... Um, which we'll get in front of the camera. There's the socket for the direction switches. So there we go. So that's all... All looking good. There you go. We'll be back shortly. Okay, doke. We're moving on. Righty -oddy. Now I have the transformers in. I've wired up everything that can be wired up right now. There we go. I even did the. Uh, I covered up the um, the power socket, uh, power plug. No, I'll start again. The switch, the power switch. It's already got coverings on the wires, I just had to tape it up anyway. I don't trust these ones, it's just, they're just way too close to the actual the front panel. I just prefer to just tape, tape them all up, make it a bit more um, better alike. I've actually got uh, the shield in for the, um, for the transformer, AC. So there we go. We, can, uh, we shall catch up uh, shortly. Oh, I've got a little bit of drag left here. So, we shall um, get the front panel on and uh, I'm going to do some testing, so we shall be back. Radio, I have now finished uh, full assembly and labelling of the controller. So I've actually got a, a label on the front of the lens here, I just like putting them on there as well when I do these. Got a label on the front of this, uh, it's, it's actually a DS7R controller now. So then we go a bit of a look through. The back is now labelled. I'll try and get it. It's done in um, black on, on clear labels. Might see it that well. I've blocked off the, uh, the three remaining holes um, with a bit of um, uh, so just like a silver tape that I've found here. So there we go. It's all good. I've done the pre-alignment. I'm going to put the the top on, and I shall show you working with the uh, KR450 rotator next. Oh, that'd be in the other video, but that's beside the point. Righty, righty. we're done. View the other video uh, of the 450 um, uh, upgrade and and whatnot, and um, we'll show it all working with this controller. Catch up.